Just trying to fight the urge of addiction, it's so hard. It really is. Brooke St. Clair says her past choices left her in a bad place. I was living on the streets for about three years, in and out of jail. You know, I was on drugs really bad and I was pregnant. The 21 year old had nowhere to go. Then she heard about Foundation House Ministries, a safe home for moms and babies. That's where she met Suzanne Burns, who started the ministry after her own crisis pregnancy years earlier. I wanted to give back. I wanted to help other women who were in the same situation that I had been in myself. The nonprofit's goal is to break the cycle of violence, poverty, homelessness, abuse, and addiction. Burns says it all starts with mom. 70% of our moms come in without a high school diploma or GED. A large percentage of them come in with criminal charges, um, often related to either drugs or theft. And so they're, they're not good uh, employees on paper. The job training program Healing Springs Gifts sells soaps, candles, and lotions and teaches moms marketable skills, inventory management, customer service support, time management, and how to be a team player. The goal is for each woman to get a good job that pays a living wage. Her opportunities are limitless. We know that. She has to learn that that's true. Six years after opening, the ministry recently celebrated bringing its 100th mom into the maternity house. St. Clair says every day is a struggle fighting addiction, but she's thankful to be on the path to recovery. Honestly, I felt like the foundation house actually saved my life. And for the ministry that's giving her a fresh start. With this week's Making a Difference, I'm Lori Mitchell.